Every college student has something in common, dealing with stress. WTV 8's Danny Householder tells us how you can detect if you are suffering from stress and how to manage it. Students have expectations for college that usually look something like this, hanging out with friends and having a good time. But this is reality, sitting in the library, studying, and worrying about deadlines. But what is it that makes a student look like this? It's called stress. It's your physical, emotional, and mental response to change. And if you'd like to see what it looks like, well, you just have to take a trip to the Vogel Library. Here, students are faced with stress from homework. That's okay, though, because without it, people would not get a lot done. It provides an extra burst of adrenaline that helps you finish your final paper or face other challenges. It's positive stress, a short-term physiological tensing and added mental alertness that subsides when the challenge has been met, enabling you to relax and carry on with normal activities. However, if you can't return to a relaxed state, then this stress becomes negative. Students admit they did not realize how much negative stress there would be in college. With my um, pre-med major, it's, it's pretty rigorous, and uh, I de I'm definitely more stressed than I thought I would be. I knew that it would be more time-consuming um, than high school, per se, but I didn't realize how much work I would be doing. In the Pathway Center, located on the third floor in the Vogel Library, students are able to speak with counselors, such as Molly Wirtz, who have tips for calming down. So getting, you know, six to eight hours of sleep every night, um, eating a healthy, balanced diet, and then we go into, you know, how are you managing your time or how are you perceiving how much time you have? Because sometimes we hear students say, I don't have any time. But then if we sit down and, and look at their schedule with them, we can find that they might have more time than what they're thinking that they do. Wirtz is a firm believer in overcoming stress, but she says sometimes you have to take a break from the homework. So go on a run and enjoy the outdoors. Or perhaps sit down, play some music, and relax. That way, you won't be spending so much time here looking like this. Reporting for WTV8 News, I'm Danny Householder. And if you need to talk to someone about excessive stress in your life, contact the Pathway Center and schedule an appointment.